In this video, we're going to integrate x arc sine x solution. We'll start by using integration by parts. So we have to pick our u, and u has to be something that's easy to differentiate. And we also have to pick our dv, and dv has to be something that's easy to integrate. So we definitely don't want to pick dv to be the arc sine, so we'll let u be arc sine. And then dv will simply be what's left over, so x dx. Computing du, we end up with 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. And then just computing v, we get x squared over 2. I'm going to go ahead and call this i, so I don't have to write it down again. And so i is equal to, and let's see, this is uv using the integration by parts formula. So x squared over 2 arc sine x minus the integral of v du. I'm going to go ahead and pull the 1 half out, and then we have the integral of x squared over the square root of 1 minus x squared, and we still have the dx. Now we have to deal with this new integral here. So the way to do that is to make a trig substitution. We're going to set x equal to sine theta, and so dx will be equal to cosine theta d theta. And that means that the square root of 1 minus x squared, well, that's going to be the square root of 1 minus sine squared, which is the square root of cosine squared, which is simply cosine. Going through this kind of fast, uh, but it's a long problem. So um, hopefully you already know how to do trig sub before watching uh, this video. All right, now let's carefully rewrite this integral here. So we have x squared over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. This is equal to the integral of, we said x was sine theta, so we get x squared, so sine squared theta. And we have a division sign, and then the denominator here is cosine theta, so cosine theta. And dx is cosine theta d theta, so this is cosine theta d theta. Let's keep going. This is equal to the integral of sine squared theta. And to integrate sine squared, we use an identity. So this is equal to the integral of 1 half. And it's 1 minus cosine 2 theta. Right, that's, that's what sine squared theta is equal to, this right here, d theta. Let's break this up. So we get 1 half d theta, and then minus one-half the integral of cosine 2 theta d theta. To integrate cosine of 2 theta, well, the derivative of sine is cosine, so it's definitely going to be sine, and then we just divide by the 2. So this is equal to, to integrate this one, it's 1 half theta, and then minus, now we're dividing this by 2, so we're going to get minus 1 fourth sine of 2 theta, plus c. Let's keep going. At some point we have to draw a triangle because we're using trig sub, right? We are using tri trig sub. We said that sine theta was equal to x. So here we have a 2 theta, so we have to get rid of it. So what we'll do is use an identity, a very powerful identity. The sine of 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta. And then we still have the plus c. So this is equal to 1 half theta minus these cancel, so we, we get 1 half sine theta, cosine theta, plus c, and now we can finally draw our triangle. So we draw the triangle over here, so this is theta, and we're going to use so ka toa, so so ka toa. So we want to think of x as x over 1, boom, so it's opposite over hypotenuse. And if you work it out, well, I will. Let's call it b. So 1 squared is equal to b squared plus x squared. This implies that if you subtract x squared, take the square root, you get b equals 1 minus x squared. So this is the square root of 1 minus x squared. So now this is equal to 1 half. Well, what is theta? We know that the sine of theta is x. Let's think about that. Sine takes theta and gives us x. 
So the arcsine function takes x and gives us back theta. So theta is simply the arcsine of x, and then minus 1 half. Sine of theta is x. We know that from here. And then cosine of theta, adjacent over hypotenuse, right? So this is the adjacent, and the hypotenuse is 1, so it's just this. So square root of 1 minus x squared plus c. Is that the answer? No way, right? We still have this piece up here, right? So it's this piece minus 1 half times what we just worked out. So let me write it again. So i is equal to x squared over 2. It's a 2. <laughs> Arc sine x. Long problem. Minus, minus 1 half. And it's just what we just did. So 1 half arc sine x minus 1 half x square root 1 minus x squared. And then I'll, you know what, I'll leave the c here just to show you what happens to it. So this is equal to x squared over 2 arc sine x minus, let's see, 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth arc sine x and then here it's a plus and it's so it's plus one fourth x square root one minus x squared here we're going to get negative one half c let's just call it k so this is plus k and i guess you could do some factoring here but i am going to leave it alone so that is the final answer we kind of rushed through that really really fast um, it's just a really long problem so i hope it made sense